everybody. What is the administration doing to deal with this issue and prevent our sensitive military data from potentially falling into the hands of a Russian ally? And how is this allowed to go unaddressed for the past decade despite warnings? I would first point you to our colleagues at the Department of Defense. This is really more for them to speak to, but as I understand it, they have now for quite some time have in place um, a tool uh, that, uh, that stops uh, e outbound emails that don't have the .mil at the end uh, from going. Um, there's, not a, there's, there's not a huge amount that they can do for people sending emails into the .mil domain from outside. For instance, if you're working on your home computer and you're sending a document to your work account or something like that, which actually shouldn't be working on uh, official stuff at home anyway, but they have done training uh, of DOD employees, as I understand it, to, to warn them about that practice. Uh, but when it's inbound uh, uh, to a dot .mil address without MIL, it, there's not a lot that the, the Pentagon can do to stop that. But they're obviously been mindful of this for quite some time and have been, again, working on outbound fixes and working on training uh, for any problems of inbound traffic. There is a meeting tomorrow from an emissary of the Pope with the President, uh, Cardinal Zuppi, about um, humanitarian issues with Ukraine and so forth. Are you able to preview that at all? And is there any particular urgent event that is having him travel from Italy to meet with the president? The Cardinal's coming at the specific request and as an envoy of the Pope uh, to have discussions here uh, about the war in Ukraine, um, about specifically about humanitarian concerns uh, in Ukraine. As an example, the thousands and thousands of Ukrainian children that have been shipped off to basically concentration camps uh, in Russia or Russia-occupied territory. Uh, and, uh, and we look forward to having those discussions. You know, what is the administration's take on this? What leverage do you have to counter this? Can you maybe extend more asylum invitations? 